Hi everyone, I'm Kylie the Jellyfish. Today this video will be about how I can choose my hair colors based off of what I like. <laughs> okay, backspace, back, down, back, back. Hi everyone, I'm Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going... Hi everyone. Hi everyone, I'm Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to give you advice on how to choose the right hair color for you. This video will be a part of a continuous series that I'm doing on my channel. It's going to be a playlist right here all about how to color your hair for beginners. Every single video is going to kind of dive in depth with how to do it right and all of my advice and I'm going to do a Q&A uh, in a few weeks so if you have any questions please leave them down below for me. People want to know how to choose the right hair color for them. I don't know, I mean, if you want to do one color, obviously it's gonna be tough to choose which one. It really does depend on you, and I could say that and leave this video short, but I wanna go into depth as to how to show what colors will be the best on you. Let's start off with skin tone. Skin tone is going to be the warmth or coolness or neutrality of your skin. And there are a lot of quizzes out there online or a lot of stuff on, you know, Pinterest I see a lot of where you can take a test, see what your skin tone is, and then they give you a list of colors that work best for you. A good rule to check is if you look at your veins, if you have blueness or purpleness in your veins, you're probably more cool toned. If you have greenness in your veins, you probably are warm toned. And I actually have a combination of purple, blue, and green in there, which means I am neutral. So that means that I can rock any color. Um, technically, all of you can rock any color as long as you rock it with confidence. But pertaining to specifically colors that accentuate your skin tone, I can technically look good in all of them, but that doesn't mean I like all of them. I always go back to lavender, silver, blue. I do every version of them before I ever think about doing a warm tone, and that's just because I simply enjoy it more. I like the way cool tones are, and if you feel that way about any particular color, then that's your color. Just stick with that color and don't question it, and then once you get sick of that color, try, try your second favorite color. Another way of telling if you have a skin color that fits warm or cool more is if you like certain jewelry. So I wear a lot of silver jewelry. If you like silver on your skin tone more, you're typically more cool toned. If you wear more gold, then you typically like warm tones. If you gravitate towards mostly or only rose gold, that probably means you are neutral, but anyone could really rock anything, so pay attention to what colors you like to wear on your eyes if you wear eyeshadow or if you wear any kind of colors on your face. If you like peachy blush more than cool toned, like a deep petal pink, if there's like a petal pink that you like in your blush, maybe you are more cool toned. If you like peachy tones, maybe you're more warm toned. Now, you could be any ethnicity, any race at all in the world and have cool tones or warm tones because I've definitely met some fair-skinned people that are warm toned. Um, but I would say a lot of times when you have extremely like milky white pale skin, a lot of times you are cool toned. I don't look at the veins most of the time on darker skin. I look at what colors you like to wear, uh, what colors look best when you are wearing the most neon bright version of it. So let's say we have a sheet of fabric with a bright magenta on it and then an emerald green on it. In really good neutral lighting, hold it up against your face and flip it around and whichever side just makes you feel healthier looking and more awake and alive, that's usually the color that brings out the right tones in your skin. And make sure you're doing this when you don't have makeup on because if you're covering up the natural blemishes and the natural undertones in, within your skin, uh, it can be a lot harder to tell. Lighting that you're most often in. So try the lighting at work or try the lighting at home where you just feel like you're in the most of the time and hold up colors next to your face 
and look in the mirror or have a friend help you out. They will tell you which colors look the best on you. I know some people really are into jeweled tones or like deep saturated tones like ruby red and like emerald green, like a really deep royal blue. If you gravitate towards jeweled tones, then maybe you can look for a color that's more jeweled toned in your hair. What I really like for like someone with very pale skin is like that soft contrast of having like a pastel color in their hair. And then typically if someone has much darker skin, like having the contrast of a similar level of color, but then a vibrant color. When you're looking for the best color for you, it's the color that you look good in even when you're not wearing makeup. But even if you look at your wardrobe, do you picture, like, let's say you have a lot of red. Are you going to want to wear red hair and a lot of your red clothes? Or do you think it would look really cool to have blue hair and a red flannel? Like your favorite red flannel, what would that look good with? I wanted to make this video a little bit more like a casual conversation because I really hate seeing stuff that's telling you that you have to wear something a specific way because of the way you look. People can rock things if they have the confidence to rock those things. I know that some people also don't have all that guidance in the world, they're still trying to figure out what they look like to other people and what accentuates them. Yeah, what I've noticed is if I have light hair, I end up wearing darker plugs. If I have dark hair, I wear a lot of lighter colored plugs. Let's say teal hair, I end up wearing very orange eyeshadow for that like contrast. This is a weird one and I don't know why this works out for me, but I really like having brown, brown eyeshadow when my hair is lavender. I mean, I've always really liked cool tones everywhere, but my face. I really like wearing peachy blushes. I like wearing warmer colors on my eyes. But then also I've noticed certain colors will make me look too green when I have neon green hair, but then I've realized it just makes me look more yellow. But then again, I almost think it just makes me glow all over more. When my hair is red, I feel like McDonald's because think about how yellow I already see myself. When I look at my skin tone, I just see yellow. So then when I have red hair and then my yellow skin, I just feel like McDonald's just because I associate bright red with bright yellow equaling fast food and McDonald's. If you have natural gingery red hair, I think it looks amazing when you, you wear green shirts and stuff. How do I choose what color I like? You won't know until it's on you. If you have any friends with wigs, or if you have wigs, or you have access to try on wigs, try on a wig, but also they have apps now. They have really good software on our phones where if you take a photo, you can either edit the photo, or you could have a filter popped right onto you live to see what a color would look like on you. The problem with that is sometimes when they put a filter on you, they also put a filter on your skin and they blush you out and they make you look real pretty. And then you're like, well, I don't know what I really look like with this color. I just know what Snapchat wants me to look like, <laughs> you know? Hi everyone, okay. Ignore the fact that I am totally different now because this is a few months after my initial filming but I wanted to go more in depth with the the concept of seasonal color analysis and I explained this and I decided to scrap it and start all over because it didn't make much sense the first time. Below I am going to put two links first. There's going to be a link to theconceptwardrobe.com and a link to my Pinterest uh, colorology and with these two links you should be able to understand and follow along with what I'm saying. The concept that I want to explain is called seasonal color analysis. Your natural eye color, your natural skin color, and your natural hair color all coinciding together with whether they are high contrast, low contrast. So there is a color scheme for winter, spring, autumn and summer. So what these charts will tell you is what colors will probably look best on you depending on your natural features. It is a little tricky when you are trying to apply the color of your unnatural hair to this chart. So I will explain that after I explain the general idea. If you are cool skin toned, you can either be a winter or a summer. Winter 
would be darker features. So that would be like either much darker eyes and much darker hair with like more pale or fair skin tones that are cooler. And a summer person would be a cool skin toned person with lighter features. So someone who's maybe um, a natural level six or above. So like a dirty blonde or a blonde that's just cool toned but lighter at nature. Typically cool toned summers are a little bit darker in their skin tone so uh, you tan easily too even though you're even though you're cool you aren't a fair person. Autumn and spring would be for a warm toned person. An autumn would be warm skin tone with darker features like darker features with warm skin tone so a spring would be a person with lighter features that is warmer in their tone. There is a chart, if you're a winter, you're a dark winter, a cool winter, a bright winter. A spring would be bright, warm, light. A summer would be light, cool, muted. An autumn would be dark, warm, muted. Yeah, so the summer and autumn side of the spectrum would be lower contrast, which means your hair color, your natural hair color, and your natural eye color is somewhat similar in value with your skin tone. So if you're like a slightly tanner person, like you're not the palest person in the world, and you also have lighter features like lighter eyes and lighter natural hair, you could be an autumn or a summer. Now for a spring or a winter, you would tend to have a very high contrast of lighter skin tones mixed with darker features or Shockingly bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically high contrast. So with this being applied to an unnatural color in your hair, think about not necessarily the color itself, but the value of the color. So, so to clarify some things for how this would relate to fashion colors or unnatural vivid colors, uh, look at three factors for yourself. Are you cool or are you warm? Are your natural features light or are they dark? And do you desire high contrast or low contrast? And these are all to the extreme levels. So obviously you can meet somewhere in the middle and have a medium contrast of some kind or you could do something more neutral. It doesn't have to be super cool or super warm. Showing you examples that are more dramatically exaggerated. This person having warm, soft contrast on light features, cool, soft contrast on light features, cool, high contrast, and warm contrast on light features. Warm, high contrast on dark features, cool, high contrast on dark features, warm, soft contrast on dark features, and cool, soft contrast on dark features. Yeah, you just can kind of apply your natural features of your eye color and your skin tone to the color that you're trying to go for. When it comes to hair color, like semi-permanence, it's not only deciding hmm, do I want blue hair, or do I want red hair, or do I want purple hair? It's also deciding, do I want a really dark green hair, or do I want a really neon green hair? And what are those two differences going to make for me? If you want to look really soft, if you feel like high contrast and like colors that shout are not really your thing, um, sometimes I think it's a more grunge vibe. <laughs> I don't know if that's like cringy to say, but like, I would think of colors that are more muted, like they have a little bit of a gray wash over them, to be muted. You could try your best to stay within the tonality that you have in your skin tone. So if you're like super duper cool and you wanted to do a muted soft contrast to your whole overall aesthetic, you would have like a very smoky gray blue hair. So that's kind of what this chart is all about. There's a lot more to it if you want to click on those links that I put below. And uh, I hope that makes it all sense. <laughs> Unfortunately, 
this concept of seasonal color analysis doesn't really work for people that are super neutral. Now, like for me, I have to pick one side or the other. I enjoy cool colors enough to consider myself cool toned rather than considering myself warm toned. I would probably choose to consider myself winter more than a summer. Let me know in the comments what you are. Okay, so I think that should be it for this video. So I hope that all of these tips and tricks helped people decide how to choose their color for themselves and just know that overall if you're planning on doing a color in the future, try to stick to the to a similar color in the color wheel. So if you know you're planning on going blue in the summer, don't go red right now <laughs> because it's gonna be like really hard to work your way all the way around the color wheel because it will be really hard to jump all the way to the opposite side of the color wheel. Like if you have red hair and you want green hair, you have to fade that color out completely in order to have the most vibrant green. If you have red hair and you want it to be gray, you could put green on it to cut that red and it'll come to like a really muddy muted color in the middle. But if you want to learn more about canceling out colors with the opposite tone, there's a video up here about that. Um, it should also be in the playlist for how to color your hair for beginners. So check that out for the rest of my videos in this series and what you might be expecting next is hopefully demonstrations of how to apply color for beginners and I will include real examples of me doing hair either on myself or at the salon. Check out those videos, they'll be popping up right here as soon as my intro screen goes on. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Ask me any questions below in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Stay epic. Bye.